Let's take what we've learned about controlling non-intensity parameters and put it into action by writing some additional cues. Let's start with a go to queue out. And we're going to be building some cues in the middle of our queue stack right now. So before we start anything, I want to block queue 21 so that nothing tracks into it. So we'll do that by saying q21 block enter. And now we don't have to worry about updating queue only or any tracking issues here. All right, let's say group two, full, full. And I wanna open up a color picker and make those pink. There we go. And that's gonna be our queue. So we'll say record 12 label pink. And now I'll say select last. And I want those to be more of a cyan this time. There we go. And I wanna bring up group three to full. And those wanna be blue. And group four to full. And those should be green. And now I wanna turn on group nine. And those should also be green. All right, let's say record next label. And this is our cool look. Next, let's take group four out and take group two and select those and make those be orange. Record next, which will give us Q14. Time to label color change. And now I'm going to select active out to make a quick blackout. And we can record 15 times seven, label fade to black. And it's always good practice to block and assert our blackouts. So we'll go ahead and do that on Q15. Now I wanna take 121 through 128 and I want to grab just the stage left fixtures, which I know are my odd fixtures. So I'm gonna say offset odd to select those and I'll turn those on. And I'm gonna press next to select channel 121. And I'm going to pan and tilt that guy onto the lead singer. And next to 123, that one's also gonna be on the singer. Next to 125, this one's gonna be on the drummer. Swing that over there. And next, one more time to 127, and that will be on our drummer as well. Okay, those look good. Now I'll say select last to re-grab the entire group there. And I want to zoom those to 19 degrees. So I'll get zoom on my command line. I used my encoder button. You could use the tile or touch the encoder display either way. And I want those to be 19 degrees. So I'll type in 19 and press enter. And I want to make those yellow using my standard colors. Now we'll say record 16, time of one with a color time of five. So to get color time, I can post color to the command line, press time, and now five. And I want that to be a label of yellow. And when we store that in our PSD, you'll see that color column shows us a time of five while all the other columns are using our time of one. This means any color parameters that move in this queue will move slower than all of the other parameters. Okay, let's write one more queue. Group two at 50, remdim, enter. And I want those to be a nice warm white. So using my standard colors, I'm going to pick 3,500 and I'm gonna record this as Q17. All right, now we're gonna take group five to full, and we wanna tilt those up on stage. And let's zoom those out to 26 degrees. So we'll get zoom on our command line, 26, enter. And I wanna pan those just off our proscenium, right about there. Let's switch our encoders to image and I want our fracture gobo. 
just the second gobo there. And now let's switch to form and sharpen that up so we can see a little bit better. There we go. And now I want those gobos to rotate. So I'll switch back to image. So I need to change the mode of my gobo index and speed to rotate positive. And now I can use that encoder to select the speed that I want them to rotate. Right about there is pretty good. And I want every other fixture to rotate the opposite direction. So a quick way to do that is to say, select last, offset, even. So I'm gonna grab every other fixture. And now I can just change the mode to rotate negative. That gives a much more dynamic look there. And finally, I want to make those yellow. So I need to hit select last twice so I get the whole group. Remember select last will remember the last five selections and you can cycle through those five by pushing it over and over. And using my standard colors, I'm gonna choose yellow. Let's say record next, enter. Let's go ahead and look at those cues. So we're gonna to go to cue 11.5. A quick way to look at cues while ignoring their timing is to hold shift and press go. This will use the timing disable time that is established in setup, and that timing defaults to zero. So this is a quick way to bounce through cues without having to wait for all their timing. Those all look pretty good. Let's go ahead and go to cue out, and don't forget to save your show file.